Good morning. I am Mrs. Palacios, principal of Frisco High School. I would like to welcome all our 9th, 10th, 11th, and class of 2013 seniors. I would like to also welcome our new teachers and our returning teachers, our staff, our administrators, and our outstanding custodial and cafeteria staff to the 2012-2013 school year. I cannot express to you how excited we all are about the caliber of students that we have at Frisco High School. I've been here for 10 years and I've never felt such a surge of excitement about the students and staff that are here. At Frisco High School, we take great pride in being the original high school. Three years ago, our teachers and staff came together to define our core values and our school motto. We wanted something that would have an impact and that no one could take away from us. So, we came up with Frisco High School the original. We have the longest school history, we've built traditions along the way, and we have amazing pride. Our school colors are royal blue and gold. Not yellow, but gold. And we wear our colors with pride. Our core values are centered around the name Frisco. F is for family, because we take care of each other and we support each other always. R is for responsibility, because we are all responsible for our actions and we're responsible for taking care of our school, our pride, and our success. I is for integrity. We know that our reputation follows us wherever we go. So do things with class and be honest in all that you do. S is for safe environment. All of us make sure that we do not open doors for strangers and that we keep our school safe at all times. If something's broken, we need to report it. We prevent bullying and we keep drugs out of our school and we report things that do not look right or safe. C is for connections. This means that we form positive relationships with each other that we respect each other's differences, that we embrace diversity, and that we help each other in times of needs. O is for opportunity, which means that all students and staff are provided the opportunity to be successful in all that we do. There are some exciting things taking place this year and into the summer of 2013. Currently, we have new parking lots and we will have construction taking place throughout the building we will be building a new library that will be facing the police station on Stonebrook. We will have a state-of-the-art auditorium and a competition gym that will be like all the other gyms in the other Frisco ISD high schools. We will expand the size of our cafeteria and add more serving lines. We will also add an orchestra room in the fine arts wing. More classrooms and science labs will be built. All of this will be exciting and it will be great to be a part of this growth at FHS. I hope that you will join us this Friday as we spirit up for our first pep rally. All students are required to wear royal blue and gold in order to attend. I look forward to an amazing year. Let's take pride in Frisco High School. Be courteous and respectful to everyone. Continue to be the great students that we are known to be. Have a great week and go raccoons! Good morning, my name is Cade Smith. I'm the Associate Principal at Frisco High School. My office is located in the front of the building if you need to stop by and visit with me. Talk to you a little bit today about our electronic devices. Uh, remember that we do allow electronic devices in school. However, there are certain rules that apply with those. Uh, you, number one, you're bringing your electronic device uh, at your own risk uh, and be cognizant of that as you bring those to school. Also, uh, the teacher has discretion whether you can use them in class or not. So make sure you know what your teacher's rules are of when you can use that electronic device. If you don't have that discretion, simple rules, simple phrase is off and out of sight. And make sure that you have both your phone off and it is out of sight or it will be confiscated. If you have any questions about the electronic device, 
visit with your assistant principal. Good morning, I'm Ms. Stevenson, assistant principal over Alpha A through DE. I am paired up with counselor Ms. Caceres and I am also over the OAS anti-bullying program. So for those of you that are interested in serving, then you can see me. Uh, I'm very excited to be here and I hope you have a great year. Good morning. My name is Ms. Miller, and I will be the assistant principal over the Alpha DI through KE. I'm also supervising the English department and performing arts, as well as the cheerleaders and the dance team. I'm also over the AP and pre-AP programs from the College Board, and you need to be looking for a new program called Pause Before You Post, which is something that we'll be rolling out this year. Thanks. Good morning, my name is Mr. Antoine and I am the assistant principal for Alphabet KH through RA. I am the only assistant principal that is in the north office and if you need any help with your locker or your textbook, you will come see me. How are you? I'm John Betcher. I'm the assistant principal for RE through Z. I work with Ms. Schwartz, my counselor, and your counselor. We have the smart end of the alphabet. I'm also the senior class sponsor. Mark these dates down. Prom will be April 13th. It will be at the Frisco Convention Center again. Uh, look on the Facebook for prom themes and the voting for king and queen will be done that way. Senior day, very important time, is May 31st. Let your folks know. May 31st is Senior Day. Graduation will either be the following Friday or Saturday. Construction will be going on throughout the school year. You've already noticed there are new traffic patterns in the back of the school. Make sure to pay attention to the signs. Slow down and do not venture into the construction areas. It is not safe. Be courteous, be kind, and make sure you do it the Frisco way. Hi, my name is Kelly Chandler and I'm so happy to be at FHS this year as the lead counselor. In the counseling department we see students for academic concerns as well as personal and emotional concerns. If you need to see your counselor, please sign up on the appropriate clipboard which is located at Mrs. Appel, our counseling secretary's desk. Um, your counselor will then send a pass for you as soon as possible. If you do find yourself in a crisis situation, please bypass the sign-up sheet and see your counselor immediately. We look forward to a wonderful year here at FHS. Hi, I'm Lee Cossidis. I'm one of the counselors here at Prisco High School. Um, I serve students with last names A through D, E, 9th through 12th grade. And we're so um, glad to have you guys back this year. Um, I did want to talk to you a little bit about schedule change uh, procedures. We are changing it up a little bit this year. You still have the very first two weeks of school to change your schedule. However, when you come in and make a change, you are only allowed to make one change um, in that two weeks. So you must um, be very certain about what classes you're going to add and drop because you will only be able to make a change one time. All right, if you have any questions about that, come and see your counselors down in the counseling office. Hi, my name is Mike Siciliano and I serve students whose last names begin with the letters D-I through K-E. I'm happy to be back this year and I'm looking forward to a fantastic year at Frisco High School. Hi, I'm Laura Beth Lopez, used to be Mosley, and I work with Carrie Antwine serving students with the last names KH through RA, and we're excited about a fantastic year. I'm Shelley Swartz, and I'm the counselor for the alphabet with the last names RE through Z. I work with Mr. Betcher, our assistant principal. We are here to help you with any of your college and career needs. 
We'll be glad to help out to look up information and assist you in any way that we can. I look forward to working with all of you. Hello and welcome to What Not to Wear, sponsored by Frisco High School Student Council. Today, our episode will be about school dress code. All right, today we have the guys here today. Jonathan, ah, oh, your hat so in style, but unfortunately not in dress code. I'm gonna ask you to take that off. Ah, oh, showing off the guns this year, huh? You've been working out, ah, oh, I like it. Been in the gym, although, not in dress code either. Hmm, so sad. But your jeans, look at your jeans, man. So in style. Ah, oh, you wet. Yeah, oh, yeah. Awesome. Okay, but not in dress code either. So sorry to say. You can't propose to a girl looking like that. Jonathan, so sad. All right, Matt. Oh, well, I love your shirt and dress code. Good job. But your pants sagging a little bit there, man. I'm going to ask you to turn around to see what it really does look like. Not pretty at all, girls, huh? Nuh-uh. You are not in dress code, Matt. Those sagging pants, I'm gonna ask you to pull them up today. <laughs> Better luck next time, buddy. All right, Christopher. Ah, oh, look at that shirt, sleeves, and your shorts, perfect length. Awesome job, man. You are in dress code. But for the other two, unfortunately, they are not going to continue the day but they are going to got, have to change into the handy dandy sweatpants. This bright blue, awesome color for the season and the purple shirt. Mmm, putrid. Oh, a whole new world, a whole new dress code. Oh, look at that. All right, guys, today I'm gonna ask you to change into those and have a great day. And moving on to the ladies now. Hey, ladies, how are you guys doing today? Oh, Alex, I love your shorts, especially since it's summer. It's so hot outside, right? But unfortunately, not in dress code. Remember, ladies, all shorts must be at least fingertip length. If not, so sad for you. Well, nobody's perfect. Too bad for you. Moving on, Taylor. Hey, nice blouse, sheer. Oh, and look at your leggings, so in style. But unfortunately, Taylor, your sheer blouse and any of sheer blouses in the future are not allowed, even with a tank top underneath. And your leggings and your yoga pants are not allowed either. Shirley, you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. But if you do wear a shirt that is fingertip length, you are allowed to wear them. Yes, all right. Well, too bad for you. <laughs> Christy, oh, and look at that. Your shorts are fingertip length. Your shirt is at least two inches wide and no low cut. I am so proud of you. Ladies, remember, no low cut blouses, no bra straps showing, and classy is the new sassy, as well as no midriff showing. All righty. Well, you did a great job today, but sadly for the other two ladies, I'm gonna ask you to please change into the handy dandy sweatpants once again and the purple shirt. The drawstring bags are back in style and yes, you can use them in school. Amazing, right? But in the classroom, you must take all of your books out of the backpack and place the backpack under your seat during class. I'm uh, Officer Boffman. I'm the SRO here at Frisco High School. I am a on-campus police officer that works for Frisco PD and I'm here to handle any problems that uh, can be associated with law enforcement whether that's crimes that occur on campus or things having to do with safety of uh, students and faculty and the facility um, as well many other things uh, just talking to students uh, counseling, uh, helping them out, and just being here to support them and uh, make sure that they have a good experience and uh, the learning environment is great here at Frisco High School. My door is always open and uh, anything anybody needs, they're more than welcome to, to come see me and talk to me and uh, say hi to me. Uh, also, I wanted to let uh, everybody know about an upcoming event we have on September 15th, which is called Celebrate My Drive, and it's all about uh, teenage driving. Uh, there's going to be a, a lot of neat things happening associated with that. It's on a Saturday in September. It's going to be held at Stonebriar Mall. Uh, some of the things you'll be able to do there was you'll, you'll have an opportunity to uh, 
drive uh, some simulated courses and uh, things related to texting and driving or drunk driving. Um, a lot of fun things that really open up your eyes and uh, help to celebrate your driving privileges. Hi Frisco, my name is Jessica and you're probably wondering why I'm dressed like this but the reason is for the pep rallies you have to have at least one piece of blue or gold on and if you don't you'll be sitting out in the hallway not enjoying our pep rally with these lovely ladies. Hi freshmen, my name is Parker and at every pep rally we have to say your class chant. Well you guys don't know yours yet so I'm about to tell it to you. We're nothing that you've ever seen, we're the class of 2016. Hi sophomores, I'm Hannah and as you know every year we do a class chant and ours is oh so fresh, oh so clean, we're the class of 2015. Hi juniors, I'm Bianca and you guys probably already know your chant so I'm just going to tell you again. <laughs> Hottest class you've ever seen, we're the class of 2014. Awesome and hey seniors, my name's Amber and for the fourth and final year we will be saying our class chant and just to remind you our class chant is stepping on the scene, we're big and mean, rocking the class of 2013. Hey Frisco, I'm Brandy and I just want to let everybody know that the pep rally is this Friday so I hope you're ready to show your blue and gold. <laughs> Please note that there is a new policy this year regarding discounts on varsity football tickets. In order to obtain tickets at the discount price, they must be purchased at the front office or at the FISD athletic office. Student tickets are $3 and adults are $5. Otherwise, tickets at the gate will be $6 for everyone. FISD staff will continue to get in at no charge with your staff ID. Again, in order to receive the discount price for football tickets, they must be purchased at the front desk or at the FISD athletic office.